What is up everyone? Welcome to Spade Outdoors and here's another video of Foul Friday. And on this video I'm going to talk about decoys and we're going to talk about silhouette decoys. And you might hear a lot of people out there and say silhouettes don't kill geese. You can't kill geese on just silhouettes. Well, you can. Silhouette decoys are really nice and you can kill birds on them and you can use just silhouettes and kill birds on them and one of the biggest advantage of using silhouettes is they're light you can carry a bunch of, of them in I mean I can use one person and easily carry 10 dozen dive bomb silhouettes which is a brand I really like using I think it's the best brand out there and I'll do a little more a video on their decoys and their decoy badge like the features of their decoys in our video but I basically just want to talk about silhouettes in general which I mean you got a couple other companies Big Al silhouettes which they look really good you have real geese which are more expensive but they look really good but dive bombs the cheapest and they work really good and just check them out on Instagram or whatever and the pictures show the results and that should be all you need to see and real good price too but anyhow silhouettes you can carry a lot of them out in the field you now you do a solo hunt you can easily carry 10 dozen of them your your layout blind a bag and your gun in one trip if you have to and be not a problem it's a lot easier than trying to get 10 dozen full bodies out there by yourself so they're coming real handy and coming real handy too and we got to go somewhere and we're kayaking because I can strap easily two, three dozen on the little straps on the front of my kayak. So, real simple to get out there. And they look they look really great. Now a lot of people say they're not 3D and everything else. They're not. You just have to set them up at different angles. So when geese circle overhead, when they fly around, they still see geese. They work. I mean, I use them a lot as fillers because I got full bodies too and everything else. So most places, times we just try to fill in as much. And usually I have quite a few people, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, if I go on a solo hunt, then I'll break out the dive bombs and use silhouettes. But anyhow, I'll show you a little bit of little features here of silhouettes, and then. Uh, video of last Saturday of them in a field and it was real windy and just see the movement of them and they look really good so get a little video of them out in the field too and there you have it there's a dive bomb silhouette and basically all silhouette is is like some some for a type of like paragated cardboard type thing it's like plastic probably much like plastic cardboard and a stake and they look real good and I mean from a distance from up in the air if you look at the right angle you can't even really tell the difference I mean they aren't 3d or anything else like that but they still work they work really good actually I mean just all you gotta do is check out Instagram, check out Dive Bomb, and a lot of other people use them. So, you know they work. And, I mean, these things weigh nothing at all. Nothing. And, I mean, a dozen of them probably only maybe weighs a couple pounds. You put them in a bag. I mean, most companies sell bags, carry five plus dozen in a bag. So, it's super easy. The only bad thing about them. Pretty much the only con of them is, well, they're not 3D, but they're usually states. You don't have no bases, so you can't use them for ice and stuff like that. And a little bit of pain for when the ground's frozen. But that's pretty much about the biggest downfall of them. But if you're a solo hunter, or you gotta do a lot of places where you trek in, ground's real wet, snow's real deep, farmer don't let you drive in, these are the way to go. I mean, you got five buddies, each of you take five dozen in, you can run friggin' a bid spread 
and you make it all in one trip with your blinds, bag of silhouettes. So definitely, if you're looking for more decoys, third way to go. You don't have quite the added realism as you do uh, full bodies, but you have they're easier to store and they take up less space. You don't need a trailer and they're light and they still work. So that's all that matters. So definitely if you want in the market for more decoys, I definitely check out silhouettes. Definitely check out dive bomb silhouettes. And I'll do a more full in depth of all their different body positions that they sell and their bags. So there you have it. There is the review of Silhouette Decoys. What I think of them, what I personally think of Silhouette Decoys is they're awesome. They don't take up a whole bunch of space. You don't need a trailer. And you can easily carry a whole bunch out all by yourself. So definitely Silhouettes, definitely good. You can use them pretty much anytime other than hunting ice like along a pond, stuff like that. Late, stuff like that so they don't work on ice and they're kind of a pain to freeze and drown but not that bad you can easily get them in no problem and they work really good so definitely if you're in the market more decoys definitely silhouettes definitely something to look into dive bomb silhouettes probably my, my personal favorite but they're the only ones I really use well, I used for real geese before and they look really good but they're expensive so Definitely check out Dive Bombs. You also have Big Owls, pretty good price too, and they look really good. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found this helpful. Hopefully, you'll buy some silhouettes maybe at some point. Use them and have a bunch of success. I hope you do. Anyhow, have a good season. Good luck out there hunting. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Have a good day.